Now that you've created a CloudSpot account, I'll show you just where to customize things and where to turn if you ever need help from our support team. To start, click on My Account in the top right of your screen and then Settings. The section titled Storage is where you'll be able to see just how much space is being used by all of your photos. You can always upgrade at any time based on your needs by clicking on the section above titled Upgrade. In Profile Settings, you can edit your company name, the account email address, password, and the reply to email you'd like to use when sending emails through CloudSpot. The email template section is the place to really set yourself up to save a ton of time here in your business. You'll be able to create as many email templates as you'd like. Personally, as you can see here, I created a template for pretty much every type of client that I'd have. I've also created an email for vendors, which already has hyperlinks to my Facebook and Instagram pages so they know exactly how to credit my photos. These templates have saved me so much time in my workflow as I use these whenever I send a gallery or direct download to someone from CloudSpot. It's truly, it's truly a lifesaver. If this is your first time viewing this section, you'll see where we have one generic template here to get you started, but to create a new email template, just click on this plus sign. You can also modify any existing template by clicking on the pencil icon. When customizing templates, you're able to change the text, adjust the font, the font size, the email accent color, and the layout. Next, your gallery settings are all the global settings which will be applied to the public galleries you create and share. You can add your logos, set a special gallery accent color, adjust the default gallery language, input your social media links, and add a watermark file as well. The portfolio settings area is where you have the ability to change the custom subdomain of your account if you wish. This subdomain you'll remember is connected to the subdomain shown on your portfolio page, as well as each of your CloudSpot galleries. This section is also where you can easily get a snippet of code to inject your CloudSpot portfolio page into your own site or any web page. You can even inject just a single category of your portfolio page, so there are a ton of possibilities here on how you can even leverage this to create an awesome experience for inquiring clients and even vendors. The last tab here is for billing, where you can update or add a payment method to your account for when you upgrade your storage. But that's it. Once you have these sections customized to your business, CloudSpot now becomes totally invisible to your clients and your brand is the hero, <laughs> as it should be, right? We know learning any new software can be a bit daunting, so if you have any questions about CloudSpot or our features, feel free to contact us in the chat bubble here in the lower right-hand corner. We'd be more than happy to help. Check out the next video to learn more about uploading collections.